What exactly is gender? Is gender a form of identity? Gender is unquestionably not a choice. It is who you are. However, gender is sculpted and molded to fresh new ideas. Strings hang from children's joints instructing them to dance as society instructs. We are born into roles, whether we are men or women. The woman whose mind stands and begs on her legs will bring about equality. But whose body reacts and moves without her consent. Glides are delicate, elegant, and feminine. She is a woman, according to society, and that is her role. She stands on her tiptoes where she wants to trample, a puppet shackled by society's hands, pushing and pushing to liberate oneself, to redefine what it means to be a woman, what gender equality entails. He is too castrated by his hands to be a man. What does this imply? What does that mean for society to put it another way? I am a role model for others and know how to do everything. I don't feel or display emotions because this is not what I do. I am strong and manly. But unlike the woman, I am not someone who should be used as a puppet. I have feelings, but I can't express them because society tells me I'll be judged otherwise. Even when I'm required to, I don't know everything. I'm a guy with dignity, and I'm no one's puppet. I, too, want to modify the definition of men. They watch as we speak, act, and walk. They observe how we dress. Us, the LGBT, often seen as someone who is just just a gay, just a lesbian, seen as someone who is just a shame on the society and disgrace of the family. For LGBT like us, there are no spaces where we can be proud, where we can be free. We know how great the risk would be, would be ostracized by society. But strip us naked, Wash away our skin, and we are the same. Inside, what makes us unique? Is it because of our gender? Is it a society? No. What creates us and what makes you is ultimately up to you. Nothing, not even society, can take that away from you. Gender equality is a human right. Yet, in our society, men and women continue to suffer disparities in access, opportunities, and decision-making power. On whatever level, gender inequality is absurd. Women and men are expected by society to play certain roles and behave in certain ways based on traditions, religion, and other beliefs. These behaviors are learned and shaped by the gender norms in a society. But unfortunately, in many countries, gender norms create harm. We constantly witness gender-based discrimination every day. One of the predominant traditional masculinity beliefs that undermines gender equality is the idea that females are intrinsically beneath males. Man's human rationality was used to define masculinity, while women were identified by their bodies, emotions, and sexuality. Consequently, standard masculinity's perceptions that real men are strong, tough, and that the only emotions they can feel is anger present a big obstacle to gender equality. On the other hand, despite various laws, LGBTQ still faces discrimination, harassment, and violence from the society. People misjudge them based on their wrong perceptions. That's why they're afraid to come out, afraid of being judged of who they are. This prejudice and discrimination for LGBTQ people are leading to mental health problems. 
that's why this toxic masculinity, femininity, and treatment to LGBTQ should stop because any gender should experience equal treatment, choices, knowledge, opportunities, and power. Still, in the end, we cannot just let society crumple us. Everyone has the right to live their lives how they choose, free from prejudice in a society. We refer to this situation as a genuine definition of equality when it has been attained and which all people are treated equally regardless of their gender, color, profession, or rank. If we would just take a moment to accept, you would eliminate all of the resentment and hatred. More love, more empathy, more generosity, more freedom, and more harmony would exist. You would have the same rights and be treated as a normal person, or in a world where we all share the same ground, you could express who you truly are, fall in love with the person you truly want to, and do things without fear of judgment or being seen. Being equal is not difficult. It is just a matter of what we choose to value. Everybody has the same rights as the other sex. We deserve to be respected.